Hi guys, welcome back to my tidy life. On today's video we are jumping right into it by unloading the dishwasher. And while I have you here, I wanted to give you some honest feedback on the dishwasher tablets that I was trying out a few videos back. I told you they were the small ones, a subscription service that ships the product directly to your door and everything is environmentally friendly and vegan. However, as you can see from this wooden spoon, these dishwasher tablets are not that good. They don't really remove the food leftovers from the plates or the cutlery especially and they also don't get rid of the food smell so all the cups plates everything comes out of the dishwasher even if they are clean they still smell like food and that for me is a big no-no so i won't be using these dishwasher tablets anymore as soon as i finish the ones that i already have In my spray mop I'm still using the floor spray cleaner from Method that I showed you as well a few videos back. It is an all-purpose cleaner for woods and you can squirt it directly onto the floor. However, because I do have a spray mop I just transferred the liquid into the spray mop container because it makes everything so much easier. And I really like this product, it really leaves the smells clean and most of all it leaves the entire house smelling nice and fresh and clean. And now onto the big show of this video and the thing that took the majority of time. It is taking down the Christmas tree and the Christmas decorations. You saw me putting some Christmas gifts inside one of those big blue IKEA bags. Those were the gifts for Josh's family. We were supposed to go spend Christmas day in their house, but because of COVID we were no longer allowed. So we still have their gifts here. I just transferred them all to a bag and I put them in the storage so we can have a second Christmas whenever we are allowed to go over to their house. And then I started taking all the decorations down removing all the bubbles and all the little things around and the thing that i most hate taking out of the tree is the lights i think 
I hate taking lights more than I hate putting lights in the tree and I dislike that a lot. <laughs> so I think that next time I buy a tree, in the next few years whenever we see we need a new tree, I will probably invest on one of those pre-lit ones because putting the fairy lights around the tree and then having to take them out it just takes forever, everything gets tangled and it's a mess and I definitely don't appreciate that. Here's my little trick for putting the fairy lights away. I first make sure they are all detangled and then I just wrap them around my arm, around my elbow and make a big loop of them and then I loop the end piece through itself and I use that to attach the fairy lights together and then I just store them away. This way I make sure that the following year when I grab the fairy lights they are all nice and entangled and ready to go on a tree. Now I'm just collecting all the little ornaments that we had around the house, mostly on the windowsills. We didn't have lots of decoration. As you saw on my Christmas clean and decorate with me video, I don't like a lot of clutter and I also don't enjoy spending a lot of money on seasonal decorations, so I only buy a few new items every year, which makes it very easy when you're putting things away because then there's not a lot of things to get rid of. Like you're the one, but you don't know what I know. I know what she's got for you. She will cut your world in two. You should turn it right, cause you don't know what's behind those blue eyes. I know what she has to hide. She will cut you deep. All of our Christmas decorations fill in this one single box only, which is great, except for the Christmas tree, obviously. So it's just a little bit of Tetris, making sure everything fits, but everything does. And we have one single box for Christmas decorations, so it doesn't take a lot of space in our garage throughout the year, which is great. I could remove you from my now that the pillow covers are back to their original form and color and now that the blankets are all folded it's time to vacuum the front room as you can see the floor is full of the little plastic pieces from the tree and general messes glitter from the cards and everything and so i'm giving it a good vacuum and you can see i go over the same spot over and over again precisely because there was a lot of glitter and things from not being vacuumed in a while in that area and so i just wanted to make sure everything is perfectly clean Some good 
and while I was vacuuming I noticed these two stains on the carpet they were from mud probably from Suki's paws because our front door is right next to the front room so sometimes when she comes back from a walk she runs right into the front room and mud stays on the carpet we try cleaning it straight away but we must have missed these two spots because there was two very light faded mud stains so I just used some fabric stain remover and a microfiber cloth to wipe it out and it worked perfectly they were gone straight away minimal scrubbing and minimal effort and this is also going to be the end of this week's video i hope you enjoyed this week's very short video please come back next week next sunday for another cleaning motivation video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content and i'll see you next week bye